Earthquakes, they're incredibly devastating. Earthquakes affect places all over the world. We're talking about China, Japan, the US, many countries in Europe. Earthquakes can strike anywhere. They just occur more frequently in certain places than others. Lots of people die in earthquakes. Since 1900, over 2.2 million died in earthquakes. That's more than three-fourths of the population of Chicago completely wiped out. I'm not even talking about the millions who were injured in addition to the deaths. Earthquakes cost millions up to billions of dollars in damages. Buildings, homes, trees are collapsed. Medical bills rack up to treat the injured. In severe cases like Haiti, thousands of people were left homeless so they needed medical treatment. They needed sheltering, sanitation, food and water distribution, and that all adds up. So how do we prepare for these earthquakes? Let's start with your house. You want to fasten shelves securely to the wall so they don't fall down. Move anything that could fall down away from beds and sofas, you know, places where you sit and you sleep. Fix any electrical wiring that's kind of defective or any leaky gas connections because those can easily start a fire. Locate the safe spots in each room. Safe spot would be a sturdy table or against an inside wall. Any place where you can duck and protect yourself. You want to prepare an emergency kit, which is helpful if you don't have access to basic necessities after the earthquake. Here's some things to start off with. Water, a gallon of water per person per day for about three days. Food for three days, non-perishable food like granola bars or canned food, dried fruit, spam, stuff like that. A first aid kit, stuff to put in the first aid kit would be bandages or gauze tape or antibiotic ointments. A flashlight with extra batteries in case the power goes out in the house or outside. Bring a radio so you can listen to the news and emergency updates. A whistle so you can signal for help or to signal where you are. So what do you do during an earthquake? If you're indoors, definitely want to stay indoors. A lot of injuries happen when people inside buildings try to move to a different location or try to exit the building. That's not a good idea at all. So drop to the ground, take cover under something sturdy like a table, and try to hold on to something if you can. Some things not to do. Try not to be under something that could fall on top of you, like a ceiling fan. Stay away from glass or anything easily breakable. Don't use elevators, that's a really terrible idea. Don't, don't do it. So if you're outdoors, stay outdoors. Stay away from buildings, street lights, and wires. Building debris could fall on top of you and crush you. Street lights can shatter, or poles can fall on top of you and crush you too. Wires can fall on top of you and electrocute you. Most casualties result from collapsing walls, flying glass, and falling objects. If you're in a car, pull over as fast as you can. Try to pull over away from trees, buildings, and overpasses, and wires, if possible. So after all the shaking stops, expect the aftershocks. Aftershocks can be less violent than the main quake, but they can still do a lot of damage to weakened buildings. The problem with aftershocks is you don't really know when they'll happen until they happen. Aftershocks can happen within the first hour, day, weeks, or even months after the initial quake. Put out small fires if possible. Fires are a common hazard after earthquakes. Listen to radio or TV announcements for emergency information. Where you should go or shouldn't go, is it safe to go outside and stuff like that. Try to help others. Anybody who's injured or trapped, just help them out. Be a good Samaritan. Finally, after everything's been somewhat stabilized, go back to your house, now check your home for gas leaks, damaged electrical wires, broken lights, appliances, stuff like that. I hope you got something out of this video. Thanks for watching.